Back to you. All right, Matt, uh, thank you. It is time now for a look at our Sunrise Smart Start. For the third time in five days, gun violence has taken a life in the city of Rochester. Police responding to a report of shots fired on Lyle Avenue near Child Street just before 6.30 last night. They found a 22-year-old man with at least one gunshot wound to the upper body. We are following some breaking news from Greece this morning where police are investigating a fiery car crash at the Home Depot on West Ridge Road. This happened just before 2 a.m., a Home Depot employee captured the scene on video. Police have released a few details at this point. We do know a small utility box was destroyed and a fire hydrant, as you see, was struck as well. In Arundaquait, a high school student was questioned by police after allegedly making a threat involving Arundaquait High School over the weekend. Police and district officials aren't able to give specifics regarding the content of that threat, but they do say it was not specific and it could be interpreted in different ways. The student now facing discipline, including suspension, and could face criminal charges as well. Some students in the Rochester City School District were a little late for class yesterday because their school buses had been vandalized. The district says around 20 to 25 buses at the first student bus garage on Main Street in Rochester were damaged. Those buses transport students at six city schools and two charter schools as well. They had windows broken out and a fire extinguisher was used as well. Police and uh, city school officials are investigating. Looking far ahead now, uh, mark your calendars. We've learned when the Lilac Festival will return to Highland Park. The 2019 Lilac Festival will begin May 10th and run through the 19th. Well, a long way off from now, Josh, as we start the cool down here in the fall. That's right, and uh, we've got some uh, rather soggy fall weather to talk about here this morning. A cloudy sky over Rochester with rain coming down, and that rain is going to be coming down throughout much of the morning. You can see the bulk of it, though, uh, has now lifted away into eastern New York and headed for New England. There will be a couple of leftover showers later on today, so don't uh, consider the day a washout because once we get by lunchtime, we'll actually get a few breaks of some perhaps and a milder breeze and temperatures back into the mid 70s. You will have an opportunity to get outside and take a run if you want. Absolutely. Perhaps. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in about 25 minutes. CBS This Morning begins right now from New York. Have a great day.